Hey guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. Um, today's video is going to be something fun and a little bit different. I actually have done one of these um, before, but anyway, I'm gonna be doing a laundry chit chat with me kind of video. Um, I did this a few, I wanna say like several months ago and it was kind of fun and so I thought I'd do another one. Um, it's been a while since I've just sat down and chatted with you guys. I um, decided to go ahead and chat with you guys about a few things that are maybe weird or interesting about me and chat about a few other things. So uh, I have a bunch of laundry to do like I said and it is a very cold day so I am in a nice cozy sweatshirt next to our window because the sun is coming through and it is very warm right in this area. So anyway, let's go ahead and let's jump right into this fun video. So I don't know about you guys, I know I've said this on my social medias before lots of different times and I've shared about this, but I always wait to fold laundry till it's like piles high. Thankfully this time it's only like, I don't know, maybe three, four loads of laundry instead of, you know, five or 10, whatever. Um, but I know that a lot of moms can resonate with this because we just get busy and then it's so much easier to what? Take the clothes out of the dryer and set them somewhere instead of folding them right then and there. Um, especially when you're doing laundry, you know, all the time. Like me, I have two toddlers and for those of you who are new, I am pregnant with, <sighs> might as well just get up a little bit. I'm pregnant with our third baby. I am 19 weeks, which is crazy. And I am nearly halfway there. I am pretty much halfway there. Um, it always depends a little bit on when I actually give birth. But yeah, and uh, so anyway, third baby is on the way. And so I have lots of laundry all the time and I'm gonna have even more when this baby comes. Um, so there's always that. <clears throat> anyway, I kind of wanted to mention that because I know it's something that like all moms struggle with, or at least most of the moms I know. Whether you don't have children, actually, like this is something that everyone deals with too. It's not just women with children. I just think it's a bigger deal with women with children because there's so much more laundry than just two people or single or whatever. <laughs> and um, so there's that. But anyway, so today let's go ahead and I'm going to start folding laundry and I'm going to start off by just randomly throwing out some things that are either weird or interesting maybe or just some facts about me um i've already have a video of a previous video just like this but it has some other facts about me um, that i talked about earlier and those facts haven't changed so anyway but i will talk a little bit about some of those facts too but anyway if you're interested in listening to that or seeing that video, I'll link it up here in the card section. But anyway, moving on. Um, I'm one of nine children, so I'm actually the oldest child. And um, I always thought that that was a cool fact about myself. Um, a lot of people say that's not weird, but definitely not um, normal, <laughs> I guess you could say. And it's always been an interesting fact about me that people have been like, wait, what, how many siblings do you have? You know, I have eight. It's no big deal. <laughs> my parents um, loved kids so much. And after they had the four of us older kids, they decided to, they had a four year gap, but then they weren't sure that they were gonna have any more kids. And then um, God changed their mind and they decided that, um, uh, oh dear, that has a stain on it. Um, anyway, that they had uh, decided um, that their minds had been changed and they were gonna go ahead and have a bunch of more children. And um, they had five more kids afterwards. So it's definitely um, quite the experience. I will say that I totally enjoyed it thoroughly. My parents were good parents. Um, that's not everyone's experience, but uh, my experience was good and I love it. So anyway. So that's a fun fact about me. Um, and I would love to know how many siblings you have, whether that's a small amount or no siblings at all, I would love to know in the comment section. So if you'd like to share that, I'd love to know. Um, also, I hate pumpkin pie. So many people 
all just love pumpkin pie around, you know, like the holiday season where like Thanksgiving and Christmas and I cannot stand it. I just think it's disgusting and I don't think it's necessarily the taste as much as it's the consistency with me. So I, I just can't do it guys. I can't do the whole pumpkin pie thing. I'm just not into it. <laughs> so, Do you guys like pumpkin pie? I do not. So if you do, I totally get it. The taste is actually fairly good. I just cannot, I can't down it. Like it's too thick or something. I'm not sure. But anyway, there's that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> another fun fact about me is it's not even, <laughs> it's more of a, I would say this is probably not super abnormal, but most people probably have a fear of this. One of my biggest fears is being in small places. So like, and they have to be dark small places. So like, if you were to say I was to go down a crawl space or go down a hole that is like, there's no space around me, like my shoulders are touching the walls and I am go down a hole or something, I'd probably freak out and hyperventilate. Um, I just, I, I don't do underground very well. Um, caves are okay. There's wider spaces and caves, but a small little cave that you have to like crawl through. Oh, I just, oh, it literally gives me chills and I want to run the other direction when someone's talking about that. But that is pretty much my biggest fear is that I, I just, no, no thank you. No, 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 no. I need air to breathe. I need room to move. <laughs> but anyway, some people can do that and crawl through things and be fine and have very little issue with it. Me, I, I don't think I could actually do it. If my life depended on it, it would still be hard. I would say that I'm not sure how much I, I could do. <laughs> anyway, what about you guys? What's your biggest fear? Because I don't have a whole ton of them, but I am a worry wart. That's another fact. I worry about everything. And so I'm constantly having to give over my fears to the Lord and really just try to get them out of my mind, which is not always easy, but definitely a big fear of mine. Um, anyway, okay. I absolutely love pigs. <laughs> um, my favorite animal is not a pig. My favorite animal is a horse. But uh, when I was a teenager, we raised hogs for 4-H and we would sell them at the fair. And I just loved raising them. We each got our own pig and we were able to raise it, train it, and um, uh, treat it as our own and then sell it with uh, sell it and we got that profit. But um, all through those years raising pigs, I just really got really like grew very fond of them. Um, they're actually really cool animals. They're actually, they have more of a like dog personality. They absolutely love people. Um, and they love eat, they love to eat. They can actually, you can actually train them to respond to commands. And um, not that I really got that far with it because I was too busy. <laughs> but um, pigs are just great. They're awesome. Um, I love the way they act. They're not like these super... They're not like, you know, like horses, they can have this attitude, um, even though I love horses, but especially a mare, like they just have this attitude. And pigs, they don't really have an attitude, they just kind of go with the flow, you know, like a dog, just kind of, mm, life's good, you know, I got my mud pit, I got my food, I got you to scratch my back, you know, I love pigs, they're awesome. But anyway, I thought that we could have a fun little fact out there. <laughs> um, and then I do not like split pea soup. There are very few things I don't like. Pumpkin pie and split pea soup are, oh, and one more thing. I can't, I do not like sauerkraut. Makes me want to throw up. And it's, I think it's basically because when I was a kid I ate it and threw up. So that's probably why I cannot have sauerkraut. I won't stomach it. I just, I can't do it. I know that the health benefits so are so amazing, but I just, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get me to eat it. Not in a hundred years. I mean, it's not gonna work. Um, and split pea soup makes me want to throw up too. So those are the three items I will not eat. Like, I'd probably rather starve. If I, if it was the last thing on earth to eat, then I probably would, could stomach that split pea soup. 
But as far as pumpkin pie goes and sauerkraut, it's probably one of the last things I would ever, I just, oh, makes me want to throw up. I know that's not the pregnancy talking. Um, so anyway, that's, what are some of your guys' hated foods? I would love to know because I know a lot of it varies. Some people are just super picky. Other people like me only have three things that they really hate um, and they'll eat most everything else. My husband is not like me. He, he, he has a whole list of things he does not like. And um, so anyway, I'd love to know in the comments. I also have never been to a different continent. So I've never visited anything outside of the American continent. So I have visited Canada. Um, so I have visited another country, but I have never been to a different continent. So that is something I one day hope to do, but obviously with the world the way it is, I have no hurry to go anywhere. Um, but yeah, so those are some fun facts about myself. Um, I actually, I think I have one more to share with you guys that might be kind of fun. Um, I've, well, okay, this won't come as a shock if most of, for those of you who have been around my channel for a long time, but for those of you who are new, I want lots of children. Like, now hearing that I'm one of nine children, you're probably not surprised now, but um, I want so many kids, and my husband does too, and we just think it's such a blessing. And you know, having all a lot of kids isn't for everyone, but um, I would say that it's for a lot more people than they think it is. Um, my mom always said that, um, well, actually both my parents always said that once you get past three, it's really not that hard. Because once you get past three, once you have your fourth child, your older, older child is not as demanding anymore and is more older and able to take on some responsibilities and be um, kinder to his siblings or hers or whatever. And so, anyway, it does, they say it gets easier with your fourth. Um, so just get past four and you'll be fine. So that's why so many people I think stop at three is they just get overwhelmed and um, I totally understand that. And some people just can't have any more or or have too many issues and that's totally your own choice like I'm not judging you if you don't have more than three kids trust me um, but I do want a lot of kids so has my husband and I have talked it over and we definitely are not gonna be stopping at three um, or four or five or six or it'll just be whatever God when God says it's done we won't be having any more babies so anyway and yes we do know how that works or how that happens. So many people are like, they ask these dumb questions like, you know how that happens, don't you? Just like, yes. <laughs> After three children, I think we figured it out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, how many kids do you guys want? I would love to know. Um, so many people have so many different opinions about that subject. It's kind of fun and crazy. But anyway, so those are kind of the facts about me that I was talking about the weird things, the good things, the interesting things, whatever. So yeah. All right, so with those fun facts, I'm just gonna move on to one more thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, kind of ask you your opinions on. Um, I am going to be planning a fun little giveaway here, hopefully soon or in the near future. Hopefully before this baby's born. <clears throat> so we'll just see how it goes. But I would love some ideas on what to give away. Um, uh, my channel, it would be something surrounded around my channel. I have a lifestyle, motherhood, um, birth kind of channel. So definitely more in the lifestyle of things. But I also, I talk a lot about motherhood, birth, natural therapies, wellness. Um, and that's pretty much as far as my niche goes. Um, <clears throat> so I would want it in within the realms of my niche. So what would you guys be more interested in? Stuff for like after having a baby, um, stuff for a baby, uh, stuff for your home, so like homemaking. Um, uh, I would just love to know and then based off of your answers, I will try and pick out a giveaway. It could be a mix of different things too, that's fine, but I was just thinking I would ask you guys and see what your opinions were. Um, I know I've thought about doing like some sourdough starter, like giving away some of that and also like giving away some other things to do with like homemaking and homesteading. Um, Cause it's also kind of what my channel's about too is like making things from scratch. 
and being a homemaker and making everything from scratch, essentially. Not everything, but you know what I mean. And, um, but yeah, I was thinking like homemade starter that I could like send out to someone, uh, to the winner. Um, it could be like one of, I was also thinking like a haka, like that breast pump that's like silicone, because I'm super into those. And that there'll be a breastfeeding video coming out hopefully soon, all about what I'm gonna be using for this breastfeeding, um, I was breastfeeding this baby. Um, things I like to use and such, but I really like the Haka brand. It's like a silicone hand pump, hand pump, and it's it's amazing. Like I totally 100% recommend it, and I'll be talking about it more in future videos. Um, but yeah, like that. That I don't know. Just give me some ideas, and um, if you're interested in giving ideas out, I'd love to know, and I will sort them. And I would love ideas. So just drop them in the comment section down down below. Or if you would like to, you can follow me on Instagram. I am very active on there. I like to do lots of posts and reels and I'm always on stories most of the, most of the time. And so you can totally follow me there. It's Sabrina, it's Sabrina K198. And I, um, yeah, I'm really active on there. So you can totally like message me there and tell me ideas that you would like. Cause it would also, I would also be doing the giveaway on YouTube and Instagram. And so yeah, anyway, I just am curious about what you guys think would be cool to win or, you know, what would be cool to be given away. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of different. I still have some laundry to do, but I've gotten half of it done. So yay. And um, yeah, anyway, I hope, I hope to do more of these kind of videos just because they're fun and they're different. They're not so, well, they're not planned out. It's just something that I kind of just like write down a few facts about me, fold laundry and talk to you guys. And it's kind of more on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Like I'm actually talking to you. It's not like this educational video or, um, you know, other videos like that. So anyway, just a fun video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great week. Bye.